So, start kare. For me, it was like uh, when I was preparing for JE, I did not have any specific like I did not take any offline coaching. I just studied from physics wala. And uh, after studying from there, I was confident that I would score well in my JE, and I did. I, did, I think I scored ninety percent time. Uh, which might not sound a lot, but it was like it was good for me for the first time. No, of course, yeah. Yes, sir. Aptitude test. That was uh, the only exciting examination that I was doing. Like, mm-hmm. Is that is that is that possible? <laughs> in Isaac's first thing is they make us work a lot. It's that initial push that is the hardest to give. So, Studying this is going to add value to my life. It's going. A lot of people know what does work. It is important to know what does not work. Anyway, so, <laughs> so first of all, I would like to welcome you to this podcast, and uh, this will be just a very casual discussion. Okay. You, are you already had? Yeah, we're just. Hello. Uh, we're just pretending this is normal. Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, for those who are watching this, um, I hope a lot of people are watching this. Uh, I hope you all get some idea about whatever we are going to talk about. It should make some sense. Anyways, take the aage kaisa jata hai conversation. So the first question that I would like to ask you is about. Tell us about your journey to ICF Rampur. Like, why did you decide to go to ICF Rampur? there aren't isn't like a lot of alternatives to this suppose like if you want to study science and like do research and do like core science not uh, engineering or not application based science then this is like one of the only institution including either uh, iisc and iser that you can actually do or uh, like actually join so it's like it's like if you want to do this then this is one of the only things when on a, one of the only options like there out there in india and uh, yeah so yeah. it's not like i what i wanted to do was research and what i want to study was like basic sciences so this was the only option when the uh, delhi university ko consider kiya tha kya tumne i ha maine usko mein bhara bhi tha i think i got it as well not too sure but um i think uh, comparing agar hum isko uske sath compare kare like i filled other institution i was uh, presidency also presidency university in kolkata wahan pe and you and even one like here in my own state so if you compare like there like you have a course like suppose you take a physics course like what is it called bsc and here compared to their integrated bsms course so i liked Iser's philosophy and Iser's approach towards science more. Right. I know this right. maybe sounds a little like high five, but <laughs> yeah, com- like there is just a difference of uh, approach. Also, there is this difference that I wasn't very clear on what like if you're not clear about what subject you want to take, like me. So yeah, if uh, an integrated course would be like. Hmm. Otherwise, then you would have so to choose. I was uh, aiming for. Otherwise, then you'll have to choose BSc honors. Honors. Choose my major yeah. already. Yeah. Yeah. So my it's better to start arbitrary. I heard that. Figure out. Wasn't like that. Ah, right. So, did you mm-hmm. face any difficulties right. while preparing for ICER? You know, entrance exam, IIT. I think difficulty per se, like for us, for our whole like generation, the main difficulty was the fact that we had like spent two hours, uh, two years. online and we had like studied online all the right. time and we had to go through that the whole pandemic thing and it was a very unique situation mm-hmm. which was not like i couldn't like ask someone else for help for this this kind of a problem but uh, apart from that there was also the issue that um did you give j i i did give j and uh, i did qualify for advance but then i failed in advance <laughs> uh. Necessary common, but what I'm saying here is like they had four uh, four attempts for our like gen- yeah our because of the COVID situation like a lot of my friends yeah and yeah. I gave like all four of them and I I by the time Iser aptitude test came around I had already given like five to six national level entrance exams and it was like. i was mentally like very tired by that time mm-hmm. that was the main problem i didn't even know how to open my books by that time right right so i think that right. was the ah uh, one of the very interesting problems was that i studied on the last day i don't study on the last day that's like a rule so i was looking at just my formulas and the little random things which i want to look at and i decided to sleep by say 10 right at 10 i look at just want to check my phone and you know i don't check my phone too often and 
on it, I have this mail that my death sentence has changed. Oh. <laughs> at 10 o'clock at night, that is very devastating for me. Uh, because okay. mentally also, and I was like, it was, and it was very, very far away. It was out of my city. So I was like, what do I do now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, that, that problem finally got sorted out. I had to leave early. But it was a little bit of a shock for me. Achha, for me, it was like uh, when I was preparing for JE, I did not have any specific, like I did not take any off- offline coaching. I just studied from physics. Wala. And uh, after studying from there, I was confident that I would score well in my JE. And I did. I, did, I think I scored 90 percentile, uh, which might not sound a lot, but it was like it was good for me for the first time. No, I of had, course, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had never given a national level exam. Up, like, in 10th class, I gave NTSC. After that, I don't think I gave any other exam. I should have, but I did not. Uh, lack of awareness. So uh, after giving those exams and four other attempts, like three other attempts, I wasn't exhausted. I mean, I did give nicer, what is that, nest exam. But after that, it was only ICER aptitude test that was uh, the only exciting examination that I was prepared to give. Like I wasn't tired. I was rather like, if I can. If I can give those exams for which I had never really thought I would give, I was not preparing for JE very well. I can, I can, I think I can do this well. So it was like sort of confident, right, about that. Yeah. So you, uh, it was like a confidence booster for you giving all those JE exams. Ah, like I wasn't, I wasn't improving your performance. About it. Yeah. Each time. So, so tell me one thing, uh, how was it, uh, like you just told me that you never took coachings and all. I also like never did any offline online coaching. And sometimes it got a little scary because everybody, in at least in my town, everybody is doing like coaching. There's a big culture of taking coachings mm-hmm. in big institutes. And people so drop out of school. What or was your, school. like Alan and all this, uh, do you have this? Uh, Alan, Fidji, Akash, everything. That's very popular yeah. here. Like you have to do it. It's yeah. like right. very popular. But like, how was your experience studying on your own science specifically? Uh, in in the beginning, uh, when I started studying, um, I had really terrible teachers. No offense to any of them, but the way they taught science was, except chemistry teacher. Our chemistry teacher was really enthusiastic about the subject. Other teachers were not very enthusiastic. So they kind of dumbed me down. I didn't feel like I had to study science anymore. Then I thought that if I have taken up this already, maybe if I try to do harder just by myself, maybe I can do better. So I started studying and as I read the books, it it got even better. Like I could, I could understand all these phenomena that no other books explain. Like if I would read any art book, probably it would be a poetic way. Like. But it wasn't much of an explanation given. And when I read scientific books, those were a new world for me. So that motivated me to study everything that I did not understand all by myself. And uh, that's what I do even today. And also on that note, how would you review NCRT books for self-study? Uh, NCRT books, I will recommend for a fundamental understanding of the concept, but not for in-depth understanding. Like they'll give you a basic uh, idea, like an outline of the subject. But wide, I guess. Uh, They cover a lot of things. Yeah, they cover a lot of things. And in in NCRT physics books, I've uh, I've also found that they give a list of books that you can read, like Feynman lectures. Uh, References, huh? I was like, is that that possible? (laughs) So yeah. I think nice. sometimes they even reference like Feynman and all of the yeah, ones yeah. we read. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, we have been studying up the first semester for January, February, March. I think three months almost. So how has your experience been o- online? Offline to the bully Like online, even online. Like on a scale of one to ten, just no, just online ko date karo. What what scale? Like difficulty scale. Difficulty scaling, your experience studying science in a premier national institute, but online. <laughs> nee, uh, one thing is there, yeah, before coming to ISIS, I studied in presidency, like I told you before, for a month uh-huh. online. So I can compare those experiences. Of course, uh, I think in ISIS, first thing is they make us work a lot. Mm. A lot more like than a normal BSc course, of course, because of the fact that we have so many subjects. Yeah. 
and we have to do like and they expect us to do like just comparing between those two courses which i did and they expect us to do a lot of stuff on our own as opposed to like not spoon feeding per se but uh, they still expect us to like really go into the subject on our own rather than like you know you getting the thing they expect us mm. to read and stuff. right right i'm getting uh apart from that like if you are not talking about classes then isers like one of the things why i chose isers in the first place is that they give you a, like a full trademark experience of studying science like we have all those clubs we have all these activities going mm. on and right. then i believe when we go offline we can have all those talks and discussions it's like a full experience of studying science right so that is it okay what what i have found is that like in a few subjects the only thing that lacks is because of the class strength being so high around 200 although even if 150 people join a uh, professor cannot always give a mass understanding to everybody uh, like like if you are studying biology they cannot always go on a depth basis to like a mathematics person they have a different way of looking at logic and and the universe and whereas a biologist will know what the professor is talking about similarly the case goes for a, a, a biologist in a mathematics class so matlab mujhe thoda sa aisa lagta hai ki if it was offline if it was offline to zyada easily interaction ho pata the only thing that is lacking is interaction like biology mein professor sometimes uh, <laughs> you know what i'm talking about but mm-hmm. let's leave that for the audience anyway okay so what what do you suggest like no, what it's... changes can you um, suggest in online curriculum i think yeah first of all the one major change which i feel like i should actually tell professors the major thing is 4 hours continuously online is not possible your eyes hurt that is like they the hurt. baseline they really hurt <laughs> I, uh. and then after 4 hours like you have to study for like 3 4 hours more on the laptop same again because you're reading ebooks or something yeah. i don't understand how i am not wearing specs by now and it's difficult to even like concentration wise or whatever offline maybe it's fine but online it's before lockdown i never wore these now if i don't wear this i can't see anything so uh-huh. uh, <laughs> so it's it's um thank you kuru it's not right really not right uh-huh. one of the major complaints that i have right about online classes in particular and i feel in maths like we have all those uh, subsidiary t- tutorial classes sometimes they are quite nice and mm-hmm. they can be uh, executed quite nicely actually mm-hmm. the idea is good. so mm-hmm. i feel like we can also have those for other mm-hmm. uh, classes but right. then again that would be too much online time so not sure how that should happen ha but especially yeah, in, in physics thing. because in physics we barely do any problem solving like we just um, Oh, let's not get into physics anyway. <laughs> the the only reason I can endure the whole class is because physics is my favorite subject. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, um, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, uh, they, they, this, that would have been a complete disaster. How do you how do you find physics? I told I. It's like uh, I told you now. I was like uh-huh. we are doing mechanics one hundred and one. Right. doing mechanics it's like a basic course and in bsc that's like one of the first courses you do in physics the first yeah. and i personally believe right now that mechanics is just like a historical artifact i know this is not true but this is what i believe and sometimes it gets frustrating to do all of that pulley and all that stuff mm. and but so i was like really looking forward to because everything at the end of the day is a beautiful thing okay you just need to be able to appreciate that so i was really expecting to be taught how to appreciate mechanics that did not happen and that was a very um, disappointing thing yeah. because isers is like i expect this is one of the best places to learn science in india and it was a little disappointing to not have mm. that that intuitive feeling can only be bought by a uh, practical approach like if you have a pulley system and you want to understand how intuitively you can understand it you have to have the pulley and you have to <laughs> pull something like like okay. maybe uh, like, i can understand you talking about like the fact that mechanics is a very practical hmm. thing which you can hmm, see maybe. not yeah, i understand what you're saying right i got what you're saying yeah, but i'm course. talking about like a more appreciate the whole beauty and the whole concept which is not 
done by just like going through derivations like derivations is a very mathematical way of looking at we can derive those equations all by ourselves the professor is inclined should be inclined to make us feel it intuitively why the derivation is the way it is and i'm missing that i hope professor exactly, exactly. our professor does not see this <laughs> Okay, maybe he should. Okay, matlab okay, okay, okay. Um, what would you say about the evaluation process, like assignments and mid-semester examination? We have already given our exam. What was your experience? How was your experience? No, okay. I'll talk about examinations a little later. Hmm. First of all, I think you might think I'm a little serious in saying this, but I really like the continuous evaluation process, which uh, I don't know NEP or something, but this like. in maths we are doing this continuous process where you have the assignments and everything and like weekly assignments and stuff i like that because it just keeps me on my toes and it make i make sure that i get the stuff which whatever was taught in that week i like that somebody might not like that but uh, i like it <laughs> and uh, uh, about exams honestly online exams is not not really a thing like you can't even define it properly taking online exams is like it is, it is that's not at all any way of examining or evaluating anybody's ability on a subject not at all matlab sometimes i feel like sometimes i feel that i think there's a am i i think lagging or something no no you're not lagging you're fine anyways so sometimes i feel like they should come up with more creative ways to design hmm. questions so that we don't cheat but that doesn't happen a lot so, yeah. maybe what what i would prefer is that small evaluations but not a complete examination like you give a mid semester examination and it sounds like a big deal and you start preparing for it like you did in schools and what we did in schools was to just score marks we crammed the things or we learned the formulas i remember when i was preparing for my mathematics exam in my 10th class i simply went through previous year questions and i could i could literally recall every single answer like line by line where i was giving my answer and i don't know it felt like a super power or something because every question was like this is the same question that i had practiced and this is the same question that i had practiced <laughs> but what was the point i i could not there was no point in that so what they could do is maybe uh, they could give us small chunks of examination every two weeks and uh, they would have some weightage in evaluation like higher weightage as compared to the uh, mid semester and those questions would include much of an intuitive or some sort of a uh, you know much practical approach like something to do hands on something maybe because that's what we're lacking in india a lot of things are going theoretically we don't do hands on things a lot like if you have to build something either you google it or or uh, you you went go to a shop and like there is a lack of everything i i wanted to make something okay let's let's try to see if some youtuber has made it let's replicate that but is that the way to literally do something that has not been done like if we talk about any scientist in india like uh, uh, sarab dr sarabhai or uh, dr homi baba all of these great scientists they did not google things they did not have google so they were hands on people Even although like, they were scientists they were experimentalists right yeah. so mm-hmm. we like that a lot a lot even like jc bose you know he made up ah. all of his instruments and everything that's what yeah but then again like logistics comes into the way like 200 <laughs> people making projects and then who will evaluate and stuff i would completely blame online education for this not nothing to do with the, like the um institutions but this whole system is kind of lagging in its own like it, it needs development abhi bhi shuru hua hai to maybe aane wale 10 saalon mein zyada acha ho jaye maybe something like there's a matrix ha huh, in physics class sir said this is my first uh, this is my first online class which is a very strange thing because it's been 2 years and i expect them to know more about how uh, to teach online or uh-huh. make exams set up exams but still we have like a lot of technical issues with the professors so that's weird two mm. years of experience maybe maybe but uh, one of the good things about our professors as compared to professors i met in other universities is like they have like 
even though sometimes they are not good teachers but they are very knowledgeable in their subjects which is an obvious thing but still and sometimes they like our biology teacher he sometimes teaches us from research papers which is very interesting even though we might not end up reading them but it's an interesting approach hmm. so i like that that they are not teaching us from like face to face textbooks but like more from the whole idea or the whole concept whatever it is hmm. right now uh, this is actually analogous to uh, classes and lectures at mit or stanford like every major university uh, which is uh, you know dealing with these research topics which demand high concentration and a broader perspective of the whole subject they go through these uh, research papers in their lectures so that students can you know digest all this information because this is somehow connected to the topic they are being taught so that's very interesting approach i think maybe other classes can also adopt this some anyways so next very important question that every student faces once or i think once or twice a week uh, how do you deal with the uh, procrastination how do you deal with procrastination hmm. if i don't feel like like procrast what is procrastination it's basically like you're sitting here you have a very important task to do and you feel like you don't want to do it Right. So even though that might have bad repercussions, I tell myself that just do it for five minutes. Just do it for five minutes, and ultimately, after five minutes, I end up doing the whole thing. Hmm. Sometimes it's like getting started. But is other way, hardest. otherwise, yeah, it's like just giving that initial push. But sometimes, like mostly, I don't end up doing it for days. So right. not a very pro at like hmm. getting over procrastination. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, it's something that happens. What, what I was taught by, it. I think, one of my teachers is that uh, imagine this: you have a block on on a surface that is very rough. So if you apply some force, and obviously there is some frictional force that is being applied in the opposite direction, and and say let's see, frictional force is maximum value is five newton, and even if you go till four point nine nine newton, then you try four point nine 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 newton. the box will not move but as soon as you do that 0.01 newton force you apply that the box starts moving and then you have to apply lesser force to keep it moving so it's that initial push that is the hardest to give so koi kaam mujhe jise karne mein dar bhi lagta hai i just think about it that this is another door or this is just the box if i just start pushing it uh, it will be easier to you know keep it doing like i had some jitters before starting this podcast <laughs> but i thought itni bar kar chuke hain darna kyun hai I think one also good thing to do is sometimes that we should like ask ourselves like why do I feel like I don't want to do it? And sometimes the answer is as simple as um, I don't have a particular book or I'm not I have not slept enough, so I go and do that first. Because sometimes there is there is a small issue which you're not conscious about, and it's a point of asking yourself like why do you not want to do it? particular task so do you stick to your sleep cycle like wake up at 9 or 6 or 7 sleep at 11 <laughs> like if you if you do that that is miraculous you know me i know people who are very good at keeping up with their sleep cycle but uh, not me at least not right now not in the I, first time <laughs> i i am definitely not one of those people i i sleep at whatever time i feel like i should sleep and then i i wake up at a fixed time like 5 minutes before the class and then sometimes i eat my breakfast while we are taking notes in math class which is not a good thing but uh, something <laughs> yeah uh, something to work on we have to eat uh, initially i started out not eating but that's not a good thing to do yeah. but uh, yeah it's very hard to keep up i make it i try to sleep As late as मतलब इतना हो जाए hours that I wait I can live through those four hours because that the other day last time we had classes I slept through chemistry because I had like <laughs> two less hours sleep so yeah just to survive those four hours no matter what I do I try to take at least seven and a half hours of sleep इसके बिना फिर मुझे दिन में बहुत थकान होती है फिर मैं I can't do anything So uh, I should yeah. So okay, moving on. This this next. Uh, so uh, 
what is your like future ambition like top of your head what do you want to do after you have done your you know masters ho gaya hai that's um, <coughs> right yeah. um that's the problematic question for me because like i when when i went into science when i you know i talk to people around me and who are like kind of like me who want to go into research they are like very some of the people i meet even some of our batchmates are very motivated they want to do something i don't know they want to go to what isro or something like they want to do something particular and they want to do something for the country or make up something or something but for me it's like i always try to do what i have like enjoyed i know it's not a very big thing but i f- when when i chose science in 11th at 10th i did that because i felt at that time that this is something studying this is going to add value to my life it's going to make me appreciate my like whole experience of being mm-hmm. a human being mm-hmm. more right still it's the same reason why i continue to study science and i believe like i don't have set ambitions but i all like suppose like right now i'm thinking of trying to be, of course maybe not this year but get a good internship in a good place like i'd like to be there do that stuff so that is all because i want to like have that experience in my life so uh, getting good experiences doing what i love is important to me but i have not set anything like this is what i want to do okay right that's scary like, kind of many i think it's it's much more exciting like you're on your way and on the way you some day it's like ekdam se laga ke acha maybe ye cool hai aur isse kuch experience milega and and on the way because i enjoy this because i find it cool i will be able to do something like add value to the society or jo bhi hai so yeah, that's a very acha hai actually more more i think it's better than having a concrete goal because if you have a concrete goal you'll do everything to move towards it you you might ignore other things you know on the way so yeah Okay, moving on. So that is like you ah, right, enjoy right. the journey more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, w- what do you think about science communication in India? Like, like is it okay? Yeah, YouTube ka content kaisa hai? Ya TikTok pe kya chal raha hai? Yeah. So, sort of, I think it's not okay. It's not okay. I think uh, first of all, look. साइंस कम्युनिकेशन में दो चीजें होती हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द पब्लिक शुड हैव अ साइंटिफिक टेंपल व्हिच इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड व्हिच पीपल एक्चुअली हैव हैव नाउ बिकॉज़ ऑफ द पैंडेमिक पीपल नो अ लॉट अबाउट हाउ सिस्टम्स वर्क बायोलॉजिकल सिस्टम वर्क एंड हाउ यू नो यू गेट इंफेक्टेड एंड स्टफ व्हिच इज ग्रेट बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट साइंटिफिक टेंपल थिंग व्हिच आई फील इंडिया में काफी है भी साइंटिफिक टेंपल है लेकिन देयर इज दिस लाइक अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ साइंस एंड अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ ऑल दीस लाइक थिंग्स दिस इज very lack very i find like i'm not i'm not a judge or something but i find very like few people who are able to understand that thing because first of all science padhne ka like 11 12th and all that whole thing it's a very skewed system it's a very skewed like why people are motivations are skewed it's a very ajeeb sa system what they are doing in 11th and 12th it's not even about studying science it's about getting into a like i i basically like if you say like in the sense okay what am i saying 11th so like, and 12th mate you're studying science you're not studying science this is the basic i hope that that's mm, no, I, I, so ha yeah. huh. so that is something that should change plus i feel a lot of content on youtube which is like it's not in our languages like it's not in indian languages or made by indian creators you getting my point like there are not a lot of things mm-hmm. if you like check like other foreign content makers that's of course there are a lot of things on youtube and like we have access to that but i feel like there should be more stuff in our languages as well with like our own over over the past two years work from home and youtube has been such a boon to the indian community i think um, there was a report that says that over 6800 crore ka revenue was generated just by youtube and more than 6 lakh jobs were you know permanent jobs were created just by youtube content creation in the past two years and i know most of them was in the in- entertainment sector 
but that would give some fraction to the science communication or education yeah. it's like like physics wala grew in a lot in the past two years and like whatever you consider staying at home has helped in a lot of senses although it was bad for education but but the it was it was it was good for some senses so i think uh, science i have noticed this on youtube right ha this this growth i have noticed this like uh, financial growth ke jo channels hote hain like uh, i don't know people know about them or not but they are definitely worth watching because instead of sitting in netflix dekhne se acha hai jisme aap aadhe ghante ka entertainment karoge aadhe ghante ka kaisa video dekh lo jisse aap life mein kuch chhota sa investment kar sako as a student like i personally started investing although bahut hi bahut hi chhota amount hai but it might be some day like you know it will it's a habitual thing investing is a habitual thing if you don't do it right now maybe bada hoga tumko lagega ke um, late ho gaye ya pata nahi kuch i don't know it, it made sense to me so i started doing it Uh, it's like investing is like investing in yourself or investing in a skill both of them are hand in hand things so yeah about that like bachpan mein jab hum koi tv show dekhte the chhota bheem ya jo bhi cartoon aata tha usko dekh kar lagta tha ki ek din main iske jaisa banunga aaj hum jab youtube par dekhte hain kisi content creator ko jo humko kuch sikha raha hai padha raha hai to lagta hai ki iske jaisa banna chahiye so that's a good thing good shift from all this you know? like kids should be exposed to youtube more i think <laughs> that's it <laughs> that's true and like what do you think about um, science communication as in general in 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 general all over the world right i mean globally no like particular to india but particular like uh, of course we admitted right now that it has grown in hmm. these past two years but like what do you think we should do or is it good or is it what is like, like what, what are your thoughts more hands on approach like you can't completely shift to a YouTube, uh, you know, platform like all of a sudden, धीरे धीरे करके like छोटे छोटे seminars करके या छोटे छोटे lectures बना के ताकि एक एक जन जो जो crowd आ रही है वो concrete हो like when you go to a seminar, people get attached to you if you are you know if you are a good speaker and if you are speaking something like if you know Carl Sagan, if whenever Carl Sagan said gave any speech or any talk, people were literally stuck to their seats and their their eyes and ears were open and they were listening to every word he said. his pale blue dot speech is it's still in my heart and i love that because that gives such a feeling of oneness on this small dot on this small planet that we are one and and it we do weird things we do all these horrendous things and, mm-hmm. and we are one but somehow we are made of the same same atoms on the basic level so kyun kyun fir itne sare in differences ko lekar ladna padna तो ये oneness ki feeling india mein thodi si abhi immature hai people fight on religion people fight on um poverty black money thodi thodi ye to cheeze hain obviously they'll go when people die jo aise kaam karte hain <laughs> over the years but like if we morally baat kare to over the period in the next 50 years i see that india will be a very good country to live in people will want to come in india so that they can get a broader perspective like we want to go to united states to get a broader perspective people will want to come to india like the optimism mein thoda hope bhi hai but i hope this will be the case but uh, what i'm saying is like you you look uh, you like looked at this lecture and you had this like appreciation of science and you had this um like bigness ki feeling hui by looking at that particular thing but how many people do you think would be able to like appreciate hmm. or understand that like from the get go uh-huh. in the sense they yeah, i'm getting what right now saying. there aren't a lot of people in general if we take the average person then they would not be like would have that mindset hmm. so what should not we as we but like what should a society as a whole do to develop that kind of a mindset uh, of appreciating it, like mundane things ha uh, dekho jaise if if i have to teach a kid or is it even important ha uh, if if the kid comes to me and asks hey, why does the earth rotate around the sun and i go into uh, gravitational forces and and space time curvature probably that kid would punch me somewhere and usko kuch samajh nahi aayega i should have something in layman's term ki us bachche ko us bachche ki family ko us bachche ke dada ko sari cheeze samajh aaye aur jab wo agle din jaage tab bhi unko wo yaad rahe it's not like it's just momentarily catch kar liya unko hasa basa ke it should be like something that um, that they can relate to like why does the earth rotate some might say that there is a fairy tale pushing on us 
fine. It makes sense if it's pushing, then obviously it will stay in orbit. Then we'll say that that fairy tale is a gravitational force. Like, acha, there is a fairy tale, but that is a gravitational force. So, well, something they can relate to. This relation is missing in our education. Mein bhi, like, schools are taught in schools, equations, equations, equations. If you go to lectures, then you have to say equations, equations. Like that feeling that there is something intuitive or connection, fantasy, imagination. This imaginative power is missing a little bit. So that is very important that we inculcate everything in our channels. Where we all have to communication. So I think I prefer that. Uh, one thing and this is also like which you mentioned. Which you mentioned was that when there is this pseudo science kind of thing. when people think that science is just like you know mostly like chemistry where you like kind of explore things up or like ah, stuff right, like that right right uh, so to science getting that idea yeah, yeah. like this somewhere so na it's so it's so sometimes people karna. try to explain weird things with science ah. this is like the general idea this is science people think that ha ah. iske liye na main bahut zyada thoda sa blame dunga bollywood ko Bollywood is literally inclined on telling people that science can do everything. Like, like you want to fly a car, fine, sit in the car and just take it on a ramp. It will fly. You, you wanna, you wanna go to the moon, uh, take a rope and fall on the moon. I don't know. So, ऐसे जो bizarre, bizarre ideas को portray करना इससे बहुत ही अजीब लगता है लोगों को कुछ भी science कर सकता है फिर उसको question करने लगते हैं and then they authorize God on that. Doesn't make sense, but Indian society इसमें बहुत inclined है like. Even my own mother sometimes, like मैंने कल उनसे पूछा आप होली जलाते हो तो इसको माचिस से क्यों नहीं जलाते तो बोला बेटा सारे लोग जब इसको वहां से लेके आते हैं बड़ी वाली होली से तो हम क्यों माचिस से जलाएं जलाए अच्छा डिट मेक एनी सेंस टू मी बट मे बी उनके सिस्टम में वो इतने सालों से इनकल्केटेड है कि सब लोग लेके आते तो हम भी यहीं से लेके आएंगे तो ये ऐसा सोसाइटी में थोड़ा सा फील्ड हैगा इसको हटाने में टाइम लगेगा अच्छा So the next question that I and even some of हाँ, the हाँ, science हाँ, so called science okay I'll say one हाँ बोलो 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 one of some of the so called science movies don't have so much science हाँ नहीं but नहीं, nowadays नहीं. we have good science movies हाँ, even in Bollywood recently with that series coming Rocket Boys I I love that everybody should watch it everybody be science background से हो नहीं हो doesn't matter watch it watch already हाँ I watched it उसका थीम सॉन्ग तो बहुत ही अच्छा है एनीवे गुड आई लाइक सो सो आई आई फील लाइक एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर अ साइंस स्टूडेंट एंड यू जस्ट डूइंग इट ऑन पेपर यू आर नॉट अ साइंस स्टूडेंट एट ऑल यू हैव टू विजिट लैबोरेटरीज डू यू मिस लैबोरेटरीज लाइक आई मिस देम टोटली ऑफ कोर्स राइट लाइक द वन डू डू यू हैव लाइक आई एंड आई नो दैट Hey, I was just asking. I know that you like physics more, but which lab uh, lab did you like more, like physics? Or like physics? when I was in school, I did We not like physics laboratory a lot because हमारे में equipment ही नहीं थे. Like कुछ हैं तो खराब ही हैं. Clinky है तो वो mix थे का pendulums हैं. They don't work. I preferred chemistry lab. It was like they these all chemicals are there and we can use all of them. We can do whatever we want. So. It was very exciting, and like I said, my chemistry teacher was very passionate about the subject. So every time we went to the chemistry lab, I was like my eyes lit up. Uh, whereas in physics lab, they, it was very dim and it was boring. Sometimes it was good. Once we boiled water, I don't know. <laughs> But I prefer chemistry laboratory. Although, abhi when we go to there is this thing that. Which is the part? Ah, ah. There is this thing. Ah. You were saying something. I cut you off. We have um, okay. I I I I. Um, the 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 uh, experiments which are mandated in our syllabus by CBSE, they're actually uh, quite outdated. Like I heard, um, not I heard, but many a times one of our teachers would say that uh, people in foreign countries are doing like stuff which is like even at your level they're doing a lot of advanced stuff. Mm. So what do you think? Like they should be. they should go up on that like they should update the syllabus 
for uh, even even when we are doing experiments in our like 11th and 12th uh, even when we are doing experiments in 11th and 12th it's like we rely a lot on the equations again like i know equations do predict the result mm. but first we should let the equation predict the result and then see what is the ambiguity in the experiment itself depending on how you change the parameters while you are doing an experiment like if i'm measuring that whether or not the mass of the bob of the pendulum does affect its time period change the bob sit on the bob well, don't sit on the bob everybody has seen professor lewin sitting on the bob it's not and it's very like can we sit on the bob so will that change anything so actually in iit kharagpur i think they have made a pendulum hanging from the third floor like third floor of the building and you can actually sit on that and see that no matter what you do the time period does not change as long as it yeah oscillations are small and the equations are written on the wall and you can change those equations any time more hands on approach again i will say is, is lacking again in the school I system and also interesting thing which you said was uh, you want to approach science from like scratch like you want to pretend that there is no equation and there is nothing that we have and then you want to do it on your own hmm. which is a good approach but which is not supported in like indian classrooms ha ah. because if you see some phenomenon, but ultimately we have to do everything from ah, scratch ah, correct 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 when we ah. if when you see some phenomena when you look at rainbows it's only then you will start thinking ki ye aisa hai to ye aisa kyun hai iske piche kya factors hai optics hai ki mechanics hai ki something to you to special relativity maybe photon uh, theory particle duality itni sari cheeze sochoge tabhi koi correct approach aayegi so you look at all these things then you know what is correct and what is not correct it's like you should know what does not work a lot of people know what does work it is important to know what does not work so wo bhi thoda sa missing hai i hope aane wale समय में हमारे जैसे टीचर्स जब बनेंगे लाइक आई वांट टू बी अ प्रोफेसर इट इज माय वेरी वन बिग एम्बिशन व्हेन आई बिकम प्रोफेसर आई होप कि ये सब चीजें मैं क्लासरूम में कैरी आउट कर सकूं इवन वेल टीचिंग द सिलेबस इफ यू डोंट स्टिक टू द सिलेबस व्हाट इज द पॉइंट फायर कर देंगे यार एनीवेज ओके सो नाउ आई विल आस्क यू अ वेरी सीरियस क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ मतलब दिस हैज टू बी वन ऑफ द वेरी सीरियस क्वेश्चन ओके What is your favorite web series? <laughs> What is this? I don't watch a lot of ah. web series, but it's called what was it called? It's called a uh, loop. Loop. Yeah, and it's a little bit about physics, but it's mostly about. I think it actually encapsulates like philosophy. and science fiction which are both of my very dear interests and puts them together and that's why it's one of my favorite series acha right right yeah i don't have a favorite web it's series it's swedish though so. acha acha i personally don't have any favorite web series i did like three idiots a lot and uh, i have seen that multiple times so that's all okay so on um, how many times like i have cousins who've seen it like Five six times. I I think thirteen. I've read the book. Thirteen times. It's a lot, I know, but. <laughs> okay, all records. You broke all records. Uh, anyway, so so yeah. Ah, sir. What what do you find so interesting about it? The Indian education. The the one thing that that I I I love about that movie is that no matter how many times you see through it, there is something that you will know that. ये मैंने पहले जब देखा था, I looked at it differently. and now when i look at it maybe i i am in a different situation and i can look at it in another way so it it gives me a broader perspective although mai isko consecutively nahi dekha hai i think 10 saal mein 13 bar dekha hoga aur jab shuruaat mein 5 6 bar dekha tha tab to pata bhi nahi kya ho raha hai abhi jo dekha hai wo zyada reasonable hai ha so it matlab hai na he has a very like ranchod das had a very much uh, interest in mechanics and like science and education and communication so that is very inspiring the way he taught his professor how to teach instead of teaching him that was a very good way matlab ye sab thoda sa inspiring lagta hai to mai isliye bar bar dekh lete hu acha right anyways uh with this we come to an end of this great conversation i time literally flew i mean albert einstein's words are true if if you do certain things time will pass Slowly for you. If you do certain things, time will be passing very fast. मतलब एकदम मतलब very stupendously fast pace. 
दिस वॉज वन ऑफ दोज टाइम के पचास मिनट कब बीत गए पता ही नहीं चला आई डोंट नो लोग इसको देखें फास्ट फॉरवर्ड कर देंगे एनी वेज कार्ड भी देंगे थोड़ा बहुत तो इट वॉज अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस एब्सोल्यूटली लव इट थैंक यू अगेन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग ठीक है अब मैं फॉर्मल बार बार नहीं हो सकता मेरे को फॉर्मल होने में बहुत प्रॉब्लम होता है ठीक है ऑल राइट Your, your audience. Thank you also for like talking to me about all these things. It gave me an opportunity. It gave me an opportunity to think about all these things once. As a scientist, so it was a good bound, experience talking. We are bound to think. Our our lives depend on thinking correctly. Soul duty. <laughs> our soul duty was to doubt the nature of nature and 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 help. Hello, man. So, on this note. um let us end this conversation all right thank you so much again all right bye i hope this conversation was a learning opportunity for the lot of you and if there is anything that you feel like was missing or uh, misinterpreted please let me know down in the comments below and once again i want to thank you all for sticking around for around 50 minutes anyways i i hope you enjoyed and If possible, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll meet on again in another podcast or a video. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. I want you all to look at my new, old, cool T-shirt. This is the short answer question. I don't understand it completely, but by the end of third semester, I will. I mean, not completely, but you know, so that I can show up. I mean. <laughs>